What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Are you a video game writer developer? If so, there might be a job for you at Konami. Do you like making video games? Do you like creating masterpieces and having your name stricken from the packaging and stri stricken from all record? Well, if you do, Konami might be for you. Do you like companies that will publicly shame you if you take too long in the bathroom? Do you like companies that will make you clean that said bathroom if your game is not up to snuff? Well, if so, Konami might be for you. <laughs> I can't even keep going. I can't even keep going, man. Konami is now hiring for new Metal Gear staff. That's right, guys. So Metal Gear, the game that everyone loves and, and, and cherishes, uh, you know, the characters, the story, the world, the game that we all hold so dear to our heart. And honestly, we do because of one man. Konami is going to try to continue on the series. And it's really funny to me. It's a big question mark in my mind as to where they're going to go with this. <laughs> Wherever they go, I'm not going to support them. I'm not going to support it. But, um, yeah, they're hiring new talent. Konami Studios is. And I'll drop a link in the description. Konami is, is now recruiting, quote, new Metal Gear, end quote, development staff. The publisher's job listing page notes that it's now recruiting a wide range of highly skilled game development professionals who wish to work with us on the creation of a new Metal Gear game. Locations listed include Tokyo and LA. Konami previously stated in March that it would be making more Metal Gear Solid games following Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, which was to be the series creator Hideo Kojima's final entry in the series before leaving the publisher after a messy falling out that prevented him from being able to accept an award for his swan song. Kojima has since rebuilt that private army of his to create an all new IP with Sony's backing. While Konami's plan to continue the series were previously known, this is the first news we've had on that front in nine months, confirming that the publisher was serious about this plan to rebrand Metal Gear. The question is, the question is, what would a new Metal Gear entail? Would it be a reboot of Kojima's beloved series, a continuation, a spin-off? It worked for Platinum Games' wonderful Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, but was that just a one-off? I think I think it actually was, honestly. Platinum Games is a very talented studio, man. They made fucking Bayonetta, DMC, you know, Revengeance. They, they are just masters of that craft. They make a lot of awesome games. So they're just really good at that type of game experience. If you look at Metal Gear and you look at games like Bayonetta, they're, they're really similar. So I think that people who love that type of game would just love anything Platinum does. A real Metal Gear game, uh, that's going to be really hard to convince people of. You know, if you see a real Metal Gear with Snake, the only the way the only way they can do it is to really bring back you know David Hayter. They need David Hayter. They got they're going to have to have real talented people to craft a story that's similar to Kojima's. Um, and it's just got to feel it's got to have the heart and soul of Kojima's game. But I'm not going to support it. Uh, but you can work there if you're into the Konami ecosystem. If you like to be in the bathroom and someone come in and say. Blank son, you have been in the bathroom for 10 minutes too long. Come outside, please. You step out in the hall and you got 30 or 40 of your coworkers looking at you, smiling. And they say, this person should have been out of the bathroom 10 minutes ago. We would like you to know that you, for the rest of the week, have to clean the bathroom because you've taken too long. And then you say, hi, domo arigato gozaimasu. And then you got to clean the shitter. Konami's a fucked up place, man. It's a terrible, terrible company. Uh, I wish them all the ills in gaming possible for what's happened with uh, Hideo Kojima. And of course, a lot of people don't know. We don't know what happened. And could, honestly, Hideo Kojima could have banged somebody's wife. That's my, my thoughts. I said it for a long time. He had to either kill somebody's kid, rape their kid, or rape their wife or their mother. You know, that's the way Konami is acting right now. And if that's the case, Kojima's wrong, right? But in the public eye, who's wrong? Konami. Because as a company, you cannot act like this. You cannot be petty and vindictive and tit for tat and I'm trying to destroy your name and your legacy in public like that. Because it makes people who have grown accustomed to your franchises and your creators and your games dislike you for the way that you're conducting business. And so that's the whole thing. Konami, even if Konami was in the right, they're still in the wrong because of the way they, they portrayed themselves in the public sphere. And that's what the issue is. They come across extremely petty, very, very vindictive, Silent Hill, Everything they've been doing for the last eight months has just been terrible, terrible, terrible. And they're making another Metal Gear game. And I'm sure that some people are going to buy it. I probably won't. Uh, Konami, they got to do a lot of turning around in the public eye for people to actually respect them. And, and give them any of the respect that they used to have. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Are you guys ready to go to work abroad in Japan or go to LA and work on a new Metal Gear game? And make sure your name is not in the credits. 
when you, I can see it now. Like the part of the game that the person made when it when it scrolls past the screen is just blank. <laughs> because how Konami does it, it just put a big X right there. <laughs> Konami is a fool. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section of this video. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe now. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.